In 2002, the Red Line Club was launched. It was the first time that Hot Wheels was selling models directly to collectors. But the RLC membership didn't allow you just to buy any Hot Wheels, but a specific models released in small quantities just for die-hard fans. The world has changed since then, and the RLC membership has adjusted. The production numbers have been increased to meet the demand, and instead of only releasing the good old Hot Wheels, we have completely new models with special features that make each one of the releases unique. Despite the modernization, there are traditional details expected, like the Spectra Flame paint and the diecast chassis body. And lately, most of the RLC models have rubber tires. If you would like to see the first release of an Italian Stallion, the comparison between an RLC Raptor versus a mainline Raptor, or what do I mean with the Spectra Flame paint and why is it called Redline Club in the first place, you should stay. Today in your collectibles, we have a Hot Wheels RLC unboxing. If you haven't heard this story, apparently Alejandro de Tommaso had a deal with Carol Shelby that did not work out, so he named this car Mangusta, which means mongoose in English, an animal that is famous for eating cobras. Covered with the Spectra Flame Bright Orange, this was the first edition of this casting, released in 2021. The model has painted quad round headlights in the front. Between them you can see a black grille and the De Tommaso logo. In the back, you have another black grille that separates the red painted taillights. The plate reads Mangusta and you have some silver painted back exhaust below. It has chrome 8 spoke wheels with black rubber tires. The model rolls perfectly, like any other Hot Wheels. The Mangusta had a very luxurious interior for the time, and this model has a pretty nice representation in beige with some silver details in the console, everything protected by a light smoke windshield. However, the most distinctive feature of this casting is the gull wings on the back, just like in the real model. Once you open them, you can see what most probably is a Ford 302 V8 engine in blue. And now after showing you the delicacy of the Italian design, why don't we get more rough? third and last release of this casting so far. You have one blue from 2018 and another golf edition from 2019. This camo version was released in 2021 like the Mangusta. The Raptor has a base Spectra Flame copperish color with black matte accents and different triangular shapes in other tones of matte brown that give them the camo look. From the top you can see the air vent details on the hood, the Raptor name in the windshield and a sunroof in dark caramel color acrylic. The details of taillights and headlights extend to the sides. This American monster has huge black wheels with rubber tires and a Spectra Flame brown lid that matches the livery. You can also see the door handle, the side steps, 
and an open window to check out the interior, which has two tone seats, in black and beige. Completely matte black grille and Ford logo, with painted details in the headlights, with an opening hood that reveals an engine that unfortunately shows no detail. In the back, you have painted taillights and a car Ford logo, with the F150 and Raptor inscriptions by each side. The tailgate opens to reveal a black truck bed. Well guys, there is no mainline model of the Mangusta and that's why we are doing a comparison only of the 2017 Ford Raptor. This is the ILC model that we just unboxed and this one over here it's a mainline model that was released in 2016. And the start, if you want to see like the sides, the obvious difference would be the the paint, the spectra flame, the spectra flame paint from the RLC, and this is the a normal a normal blue. Uh, both of them, they don't have any side mirrors. If you want to go over here in the interior, this is an open window. This is uh, the the acrylic is here. There's this division between the front and back windows. This is actually part of the die cast in the RLC. And here in the basic model is part of the acrylic that forms the, the whole window. Uh, the, the mud covers and the side steps are also one piece for both. Just remember that this one, the, the base or the chassis is plastic and of course the RLC it's it's die cast metal as well wheels wheels uh, I will put them like this so you can also see a bit of the of the side side is is the size is similar uh, of course the big difference is that these are rubber wheels with this uh, bronze copperish lip and this all this is a plastic wheel if we go for the front, the front is similar-ish, we can say, uh, the die-cast, the chassis, the die-cast chassis goes over into the, into the hood, the same as here, but this is, I think that is this uh, grille is the same piece that goes here to the mod covers, the side steps, and also that is part of the interior and even part of the box, if you can see here. I will show you the box on the RLC in a moment. Uh, more details of the front. Of course, the headlights, these are not painted, these are. And here in the top, uh, similar details with the air intake for the engine. Uh, same type of uh, windshield, if you ask me, it seems like that. But of course the big difference, this one doesn't open, this one has the opening hood with the engine that we just saw. Both of them have the sun sunroof. And if we go to the back, it seems that the, of course the design of the tailgate, it's a bit, uh, it's similar but it's a bit more clean let's say in the RLC model. Uh, paint, painted tail lights that there's there's none in the basic model and of course when this one it's a bit hard but then you can open this one you cannot and this is what I was saying like in the black in in the in the box in the bed of the truck this is a diecast diecast metal black part this one it's plastic, like the gray part that you can, see, you can see here is plastic that I suspect that is part of the interior and the base. And the diecast model comes until this small blue part. So, these are the differences. Uh, besides what we just mentioned, the classic uh, rubber tires, spectra flame paint, and more details in the opening hood and opening tail gate. The Redline Club name is a reference to the red line that the original Hot Wheels had in their wheels when they came out in 1968. These first Hot Wheels also underwent a specific 
polishing procedure that left a smooth surface. Once that you apply the paint on this surface, the final product has this caramel shine-like look that Hot Wheels calls a Spectraflame paint. As the years pass, Hot Wheels stopped using the red line wheels and the Spectraflame paint in their basic models. And these characteristics are now essential for the RLC line, like I just showed you. The RLC models are always a success, and the prices in the resale markets can reach really high. What? So paying $9.99 for the annual membership is not a bad idea if you want to get some of this. I will leave the link of the Hot Wheels Collector's website in the description for you. Now, I hope that my video has convinced you to press some of the buttons below. But if that's not enough, next week I'm going to open another two RLC models. I hope that helps. My name is JR, thanks for being here and see you next time.